The World Health Organization warns that cholera cases in Haiti could reach half a million by the end of this year. Close to 6,600 people have died from cholera since an outbreak in 2010. 250,000 have been hospitalized, according to the WHO. Aid agencies are now saying that funds and resources specifically for cholera are drying up at a critical moment. The group Partners in Health was one of the first in Haiti to begin treating those with cholera, and it's announced plans to begin an oral vaccine program in January. Dr. Charles Patrick Almasor is Director of Clinical Services in Haiti for Partners in Health. He also led efforts at the government hospital in St. Mark, which was the epicenter of the cholera epidemic when it began. Dr. Almasar, welcome to FSRN. Oh, thank you for having me, and it's a pleasure to be here. Dr. Almasar, what has changed in the fight against the spread of cholera and in treating people from when the disease was first seen last year? And what we have been seeing over time is like uh, a lot of people, a lot of partners who have been helping us, like uh, partners in heaven, and also the government to fight against cholera. A lot of them have been uh, uh, gone. So uh, this is what we have noticed. I mean, uh, we will say also uh, we have few cases, fewer cases, but still uh, cholera still represent a big burden in Haiti and uh, a lot of partners have left. You mentioned partners who have left. Partners in Health has has uh, put that number at, they said in the beginning of 2011, there were 128 NGOs and government organizations working with cholera, but now the number is down to just 40. How does that affect the kind of treatment that you can offer to Haitians? It does uh, uh, affect it. And in fact, when you used to receive like patients and just from one area, because at the beginning, other partners were, were helping in other areas, but now since the left, so uh, all of the burden, like all of the people, they just come straight to our facilities. So this was the case in one of the city called um, Verret, when we had other partners helping, and now we are the only ones. So the burden of cases like has increased. Tell us a little more about that, uh, about your efforts there in Verat. What is it like now? Do you have the resources you need, uh, and and the people who come in that need treatment? Um, what are they like? I mean, uh, we still receive a lot of patients, but fewer uh, severe cases. And when they are coming, they are coming from very far, like in the mountains, walking from six to eight hours, coming to our facilities. Still now we are okay with supplies and also staffing. We have doctors available and nurses to receive them when they come, and usually they come very sick. And I would say this is the plan. We And we do a lot of uh, health promotions through our network of community health workers. They go there and also they, they talk to people, educate them about hand washing, about all the preventive measures, but still not enough. The UN says only 30% of Haitians have access to sanitation facilities and that only 54% have access to safe drinking water. Uh, Now, as you're talking about these very important preventative measures, what about long-term solutions like public water and sanitation system? Actually, this is one of the things we are asking for. Not only we are asking for uh, uh, our vaccine, for people, but also a, a clear a system, like a good structure. But what we know so far, it took us like 200 years to have this uh, um, this structure, just infrastructure for people like latrine, like the basic uh, uh, social services. But we still don't have it. We don't know if we have to wait for another 10 years or 25 years to uh, provide all those basic services in terms of water and sanitation to people. In the meantime, I think a lot of people will die. So we support to have more, better infrastructure, better, I mean, more water, more access to water, more access to sanitation uh, to people, but at the same time having cholera vaccine just to prevent it in the short term. 
We're now more than a year and a half after the 2010 earthquake that devastated parts of Haiti, and the country is still recovering. Following the earthquake, there was an outpouring of of relief, of assistance coming from all over the world. Dr. Almasar, you are there on the ground level in Haiti, day in, day out, working with people who, who need attention, working with people who need assistance. What would you like to see this this uh, international aid and the money and the funds going to in order to make a difference in the kind of work that you do there? I mean, uh, it's still a lot of work to be done, like a lot of promises have been done, maybe also a lot of money, but uh, I would say less than around 1% of this money went through the government, like to help the government to better respond to to its citizens' needs. So I think more uh, uh, more of this funding should go through the government uh, via a better, like a transparent mechanism. And um, I said, I would say not a lot of things has been done. If you go to Haiti, like you would think that the, the earthquake just happened, which is sad. Dr. Charles Patrick Almasar is Director of Clinical Services in Haiti for Partners in Health. He spoke to us about the fight against cholera in the country. Dr. Almasar, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me.